Okay, this is just a quick video I'm going to make on breaking apart a path to edit it and make changes to it. Uh, this situation comes up fairly often. I had somebody the other day ask me if I could make a video on it. Um, I have this. I brought this in. This is just a generic fire pit design I got somewhere. I don't remember where I found it. but um, And I'm just going to, for an example, get rid of these flowers on this fire pit side and put this dancing bear in place. Now, on this particular design, probably the easiest way to do that would just be to go to node editing mode right here, drag a box around this group of nodes, and hit backspace and delete it. Move my dancing bear over into position, difference it out, and be done. But that doesn't, I'm hitting control Z to go back, that doesn't work really well with a lot of designs because if this was a really intricate design, and I was just wanting to remove certain parts of it and work around in it. Sometimes it can be really painstaking to go around node by node deleting out details. So another easy way to make an edit to this panel is just to break it apart. So to break this apart, I would just click on it and you can either use the keyboard shortcut shift control K or I'll hit control Z. You can go up here to path, scroll down to break apart. Oh, I got to select it first. Hit path, go down here to break apart, and break the path apart. Now it just looks like a solid black panel because everything's broken apart. If I click on the main part, change the color, and then page it all the way down, now you can see all my details are there and it's all they're all individual pieces. So now I can go around and pick and choose if I just wanted to get rid of one flower, two flowers, or you know. I hit control Z if I just want to get rid of all of them I would just drag a box and backspace and they're gone now same scenario I move my bear into position and then once I have everything the way I want it I would drag a box around all the inner contours and shift control plus or path union it's the same thing once I've unioned those I would select the back panel and path difference and difference it out now I can change my color back to my original color and it's ready to go so that's just a quick easy way you can break a design apart delete details you want to delete and put it back together um, I also want to mention the reason I work with colors is because a situation like this you could take this panel and you can go to view outline mode and now when I select this and path break apart as you can see it's much easier to see all my details are all still there but a problem a lot of people run into is you delete these and I bring my bear over here put it in position I select all these path union and then I select my main design path difference everything disappears the reason it's not really a big deal but the reason I work with colors primarily is it visually lets you see that this panel is not all the way on the bottom so in that situation when your path disappears like that you would want to make sure this is paged all the way down select it all union it select your back panel path difference now everything's fine but I just wanted to mention that because if you work with colors on closed path designs it's uh, a little easier to see what you have going on so I would obviously have it normal mode shift control K break it apart change the color of that panel and then as you page it down you can use your page down button on your keyboard or you can use one of these commands up here this pages it down one layer one one step this pages it down to the complete bottom so I just wanted to mention that if you work with colors it makes it a lot easier to see what you have going on that way you don't freak out when you difference it out and your whole path disappears hopefully that helps some people out don't forget to click like and subscribe thanks for watching